This is the 3D shape detector. So how does it work? You just drag and drop your PLY file. You can view your input. And the idea is to explore very quickly to know what kind of shapes you want to detect here. So here I have the floor walls, so three plane and one essential cylinder. I will stick to something simple. So then you just define the number of planes, uh, one cylinder, zero sphere, and the distance results for each shape to base its uh, prediction on. And as you can see, it's automatically computed. So I did this heavy lifting for you, which means when I click on run shape detection, it will return how many shapes you detected. So four shapes, so three plane, one cylinder, what I asked. And then we can view the result and explore. And as you can see, super nice, if on the ground, the two walls, and more or less the cylinder, it could be better. So this is something maybe to adjust a bit more. But essentially, this little app is now at your fingertips. The idea would be to explore various data sets to see if you can very quickly use that as a bait to segment or anything else. And the exported shape, as you can see, you have them here. Um, so it can be used as a base for 3D modeling, but you also retrieve the point cloud with labels so that it's a base for 3D segmentation or 3D object detection scenario. So this is the start of something super useful, super frugal, and this is also something uh, that I teach through the course line at the 3D Geodata Academy. So I hope you have a blast with it, just push it to the limits. And now let me tell you how to make that work. So as before, this is the content of what you get here with this gift. If you go on to rentutorial.patch file, 